leather boots, oiled saddles, magnificently coiffed manes. The world of high-end horses sure is glamorous. Unless, of course, you're the one shoveling their but one girl from working class suburbia was delighted to do all that and more. And by combining her passion for horses with an unparalleled work ethic, she managed to bail and groom her way to a multi-million dollar breeding business. Meet Brittany Posey. Posey and I raise, train, and breed horses. And that's made me millions. I'd be a little cold to do this this morning. Having already generated $4 million in revenue, Posey Performance Horses is clearly living up to its name. I think people are shocked that I've been successful as I am. They say, oh, um, horses are people's hobby, not their full-time job. But very wealthy people use horses, and I've made millions of dollars, so it is possible. But I wouldn't say that when I started this whole venture that I was like, oh, I'm gonna sell horses for hundreds of thousands of dollars. I started it because I loved it. It's funny because I was raised with absolutely zero horses. I lived in the suburbs, rode the school bus to school. I actually didn't start riding until I was 12, and I begged my dad to get a horse. I mean, it was the only thing that ever came out of my mouth. Finally, he gave in. The first horse that I got, her name was Black. It's kind of a funny story. We actually rode her to my first barrel race, me and my dad, because we didn't own a trailer. And for those who don't get ESPN4, Barrel racing is a rodeo event where riders try to complete a cloverleaf pattern around preset barrels as fast as possible. Young Brittany found success in her professional career immediately, going to the national finals rodeo in her very first year. In 2003, I came in first place to the finals, and I'm the only rookie barrel racer that's ever done that. And her success has continued throughout her 11-year career as she's won over 80 races and taken home an astounding $2.5 million in prize money. Hungry to stay on top, Brittany realized that the best way to keep her program supplied with high-end horses and to supplement her winnings was to breed and sell her own. My first big sale was 60,000, and I thought, wow, if I could sell one or two a year for 60,000, that's a pretty good profit. So Brittany brought the same relentless focus to breeding that she'd brought to racing, and before long, she realized that her competitors were betting on the wrong horse. Basically, the secret to my success is um, having the mare power, um, having these really good blue hen mares that are producing babies every year. You know, everybody gets all hyped up about, oh, I'm gonna breed to this stallion, I'm gonna breed to that stallion. The mares are, are what makes or breaks your program. So I don't sell any embryos out of my mares. I don't really want my genetics to get out there Bottom line, Brittany sells ultra-premium horses and commands ultra-premium prices. I have anywhere between 12 and 15 babies a year. Those babies potentially could bring in 100,000 apiece, but the most I've sold a horse for is 200,000. And considering how passionate Brittany is about horses, you can guess how she spends her extra cash. I bought this house for 300000 and since then I have added a few hundred thousand dollars in barns, fences, arenas, wanting to be able to spoil myself a little bit. This is actually my favorite hat. It is specially made beaver hat. Instead of Louis Vuitton shoes and Jimmy Choo's, I have Stetson boots. The value of my Stetson boots are probably just the same as the value of those shoes. I collect saddles worth thousands of dollars. These are more suited to my industry than having a fancy handbag. Yes, I've made millions of dollars, but I have always been taught to not buy anything that you don't need. There is one thing a barrel racer does need, however, and that's a hotel on wheels with plenty of vacancies for her horses. The biggest trailer that I own is basically a camper in the front. This is the master suite. It has a TV with satellite up there. Basically luxury living for a rodeo athlete. The trailer is so large that it's not able to be pulled by a regular sized truck. So I have a semi. This is the third semi that I've had. 
It actually has air ride seats. The back seat in the back lays down and makes into a bed. So for a rodeo cowgirl like me, this is the ultimate travel. But when you're used to ultimate luxury on the road, you need to come home to something with an even bigger wow factor. This is my Colorado home, which is my favorite place on earth, and I'm so excited and proud to own. The house is 4,500 square feet. It's on 150 acres. It has two barns, an arena, and also a guest house. It's a getaway, my boyfriend, and I can actually chill out, and it is really a rest and relaxation place. She did pretty good. Yeah, it's amazing we have to warm up. I love what I'm doing, and I love being outside. I love working with the horses. I'm just a girl from a small town in Texas, and I wasn't meant to be a millionaire. I just worked hard, and it happened.